Sorry. Hiya, John. You all right? Hey, Pete. Yeah, good. Thank you. Good, good, good to see you. Um, now, you are currently in a car because you are going somewhere. Uh, some people at church know that, um, some people don't. Uh, so can you tell us, John, kind of where are you going and why? I'm going to Teen Challenge Centre in Nottingham. Um, it's a rehab centre. Um, I'm going for ten and a half months originally. Um, and the reason I'm going is because I keep having little laughs and it, it, it doesn't sit well with me in, in, in my spirit um, and obviously I want to get closer to God Great, That's so I guess like you, you've been through detox sort of before and you've been in kind of supportive places and that, that's been good for you and you've been part of the church and all of that but kind of living by yourself has been quite tricky and like as you say kind of you feel like sort of living as a Christian but then also slipping up is you want to kind of see your life change so you're going away um how are you feeling you're in the yeah. car you're about to go how are you feeling about it all yeah i'm feeling very anxious at the moment um, a bit sad as well because saying goodbye to everyone and well i'm also quite excited and happy for, for the future sure so what's going to happen so you're you're going there today and then like what will happen kind of whilst you're there and whilst i'm there um, yeah, it's a quite strict routine where, where you, you, you have full days to keep you busy. In the morning, you do Bible study classes. Um, after lunch, you do work till tea time. And then you do um, a bit of e light evening studies in the evening. Right. And then right. up for prayers before bed. Okay, great. So it's a, quite a busy day. Yeah. And this is something that we've been chatting through for quite a while, isn't it? We've been trying to think through, like, where's a good place for you to go? Um, but then, like, it was, like, quite quick when you were able to go, wasn't it? It, it has been, yeah, yeah. It's like 13 days, do you give me? Right. Um, for the eight days. Well, as I said before, I know, I know what I need to do, and I need to, I want to be with Christian people when I do it. I think that's the best place for me to be. Yeah, um, at the moment. and everyone seems to understand and agree, you right. know, family and friends, you know. Yeah. So, I'm confident yeah. it's the right move, yeah, yeah. And, and as pastors, we're completely behind you, and we've been praying for this for a, a while, and we've been trying to help and uh, make something happen. And it's great that you, that you found this, and like you, you know, this lady f through she came along to Crossroads, didn't she? Who's kind of she's helped to get you your place there and stuff, so. Yeah. I was really lucky with, with meeting Debbie and Kieran at Crossroads because they've actually helped the application go through quicker. Great, great. And so you're going to go away, you're going to Nottingham, you're going to be there for at least 10 months. Um, and at first you'll be able to like have your phone and those type of things. It's quite, quite strict at first. Um, can you just tell us a little bit about like how we as a church can be supporting you and also like how can we pray for you? Um, I think uh, as a chair, it, it'd be nice if like we could correspond via letters. You know, um, as I say, I won't have my phone for a while or social media. Um, so I was, I'll, I'll be writing to church. It'd be nice if I could get a letter back from church, yeah, yeah, speak yeah. to people. Um, prayers, really. I, I, I need prayers, really, just to to give me the the, the wisdom and the courage and the strength to to continue in the program. Yeah. Um, and I'll. I'm under no illusions. It's going to be hard. Yeah. Um, and I'm going to be doing lots of prayer myself around it. But I say I'm confident it's the right thing to do. So, Great. But prayers for that would definitely be great. Yeah. And so I guess if you're kind of listening in from church, I'd really encourage you to to be praying for, for John. And also, if you want to write to him, uh, just contact me or David, contact the office and we'll give you his address. Um, and it'd be great. <laughs> I think it'd be brilliant for you, John, to not just have like a letter from me or David, like, but to have from lots of different people. You'd love that, wouldn't you? Just to, and we've got, you've got a photo of the church family and some other things to just remember us. Uh, yeah. Oh, John, it looks like uh, it's uh, just, you seem to have disappeared um so 
why don't I pray for you, John, and then we'll see how it goes. Uh, let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for John. I do thank you um, for uh, the work that you've done in his life. And we pray for him as he goes away. Um, Lord, we pray that being at Team Challenge would really help him uh, to no longer slip into addictive patterns of behavior, um, but to be able to fight them and to trust you. We ask in Jesus' yeah. name. Yeah, brilliant. Amen. It was just at the end. Yeah, oh, oh, you're back there. There you go. Hello? Hello, hello. Sorry, Pete. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think we got everything that we needed to. Um, hello? Hello, can you hear me? <laughs> can you yeah, hear yeah, me? Can hear you. Yeah, okay. yeah, can hear you. Yeah, yeah. I can hear you. I think it all worked. It cut out just towards the end, but that, that was fine. Um, yeah. Yeah, no, thanks. Thanks so much, John. Um, you're very much on our hearts and in our prayers. <laughs> Um, yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, have a good trip. And, um, yeah, Dave, David will get the address and then we'll be able to send it around to people. Brilliant, okay. Great. See you soon. Right, Thanks, see you, mate. Have a good trip. Bye-bye.